Hey, you don't hear? Okay, we're going to start making another video. Um, this time not about desktop, but about something I bought. I'm watching my file, make sure it looks like I'm getting audio and everything. Okay, so here we go. This is my webcam over in TeamViewer. Um, this is what I got. It's a um, headset, Bluetooth headset. That uh, Sorry, the camera's not too good, but it's a... I was making videos in my in my phones and I was having trouble really showing everything I wanted to show, so I thought I'd try it this way. There's the control buttons on it, and it's not on right now. I'll turn it on in a minute here. <clears throat> um, Bluetooth headset, and I've been trying it out all morning. Got it yesterday. I'll show you the little box it came in. I won't, I'll spare you any unboxing videos. I, no, it's not too exciting to me to watch things come out of a box but they have three colors there and I got the red and black and uh, that's the brand uh, it says V8 there's actually a I noticed on the on the website it shows a brand name I thought the brand name was V8 but uh, <clears throat> moving around so much I'm probably messing up my audio okay so um, when you turn these little things on um, it will talk to you. So I guess you got to hold that button. You've got uh, for like playing songs and videos or whatever. You got uh, forward and back, uh, the left and right, and then the bottom is volume up and down, and the center is the power. Oops, I'm trying to look at the looking in the mirror. Kind of confusing. There, came on. <laughs> Uh, successfully okay so um, it's connected successfully now I already have it connected to my phone before but this is my phone uh, one of my phones one of my uh, Android Alcatel A45L Android OS phones connect to Bluetooth and it's already been connected but right now it's not hooked up you know it's not uh, the connection is set up in there but it's not hooked up and uh, so I just click on that and it should it's connecting and it should work just fine uh, you can't connect but to one device at a time so I had two phone different phones I connected it to I have I have these three fifteen dollar uh, phones I got them for fifteen but fourteen eighty eight each at Walmart uh, and I, I just use them for like pocket computers okay so it should be connected but you know what I didn't hear it talk it always talks and says you're connected and it's oh there it is I must have been jabbering away. I didn't hear it, but anyway, it says connected. Maybe it doesn't talk when you're connected. Now, that's the set uh, the settings, phone audio and uh, media audio. That's all they got in there. And then you could, uh, of course, unpair it. If, you know, if you're familiar with, you know, it's all the same old stuff. If you, uh, you know, if you have Android, you've probably, probably seen it a lot. So, let me go back. It says, this works pretty well. This uh, team viewer, it's running through the Wi-Fi. But uh, things like... Like, I would do my video off of the phone and, and do a, you know, but I can't because it freezes up when you turn on the camera. It can't handle too much data for the Wi-Fi, even though I, earlier this morning I was getting 72 megabits. I have a gigabit router, and it'll do like 300 megabits or, or 350. Actually, I think it'll do 300 and 2.4 gigahertz, and 5 gigahertz will do like four or 500 megabits, but... Uh, Phones don't do anything but 2.4. They don't do 5 megabits. I mean 5 gigahertz. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, for whatever reason, the team viewer just won't. Uh, you can't use your video, your phone. You know, once I open up phone, it freezes the screen as soon as it sees that preview. All the other apps. And then after a while, I ran it for over an hour. And after a while, it started slowing down. But I rebooted the phones and everything, charged them back up. So anyway, it's. Um, I've had it on for. Actually, I've. I've been fiddling with it since probably 7 this morning, and it's 2.35 in the afternoon. So, um, um, <clears throat> it, um, first, it's pretty light, and it felt comfortable, but, and I wanted the big, you know, I didn't, I wanted it to completely cover my ears. It's supposed to be noise-canceling, uh, because, uh, the ones that don't cover my ears, they squeeze on my ears and hurt. But the only problem I had after a while is that two problems is this one kept wanting to uh, push down on my ear. And, you know, they move pretty easy. All, most of these headphones do. 
They don't look like they would break super easy. They're all made out of plastic. Those ones that fold up, I saw a bunch of oh, them online that uh, you know had broken and everything. And uh, these are twenty three something. I'll show the price in a minute. Uh, oh yeah, and right off the bat, uh, well I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> I'll just show you know they're fairly ooh fairly comfortable for a while, but then they do get on and they heat your ears up. That's the thing. They seal real good, and they're supposed to be noise canceling. You know, of course, you want them to fit around your ears good, and I want them to have plenty of rooms for my. I guess I have big ears. I don't know. When I was a kid, they told me I had big ears, but um, uh, it made my ears sweat and feel uncomfortable pretty. You know, after a while, so probably not something I'd want. Uh, and the only I keep banging it on my mic stand. The only reason I really wanted them. Because I don't like wearing headsets because there's too much sound in my ear like that. You know, it bothers me too much. I mix sound for bands back for uh, metal bands and punk bands for uh, about 12 years. So um, back in the, you know, 90s mostly. Um, <clears throat> and so I've got ringing ears still to this day. So um, anyway, um, there's sometimes short short periods of time if I'm trying to mix something or whatever, but I have some mixing headphones, some from flat response mixing headphones that are wired, you know. But what I wanted was uh, to be able to, uh, my phones, when I'm making a video, you know, with my phone, this one's not, even, not uh, up and running right now, whenever, um, <clears throat> whenever I want to make a video, and if you hold, you know, if you hold it out this far, it gets really, really low. You've got to be right here for it to be a good volume and if you put and i like to put them up on the tripod you know out here somewhere out here and so you can barely hear me talking and so that that's what i want but guess what will not pick up the fight supposed to but it won't uh i haven't found it a single uh, app you know that can uh a single come up on um but anyway let me put them on here and uh See, yeah, they're lit up. <clears throat> they're lit up. They're burning. And um, let me see. Oh, I was. I've been testing them, and they will. Uh, of course, you don't want the phone too close. This is the phone they're hooked up to right here. So, um, well, I'm getting confused. When I'm on, you know, I know I'm on this camera over here. I'm looking over there at that camera thinking that's what I'm doing, but actually I'm showing this desktop. Okay, so what I just said, for, for uh, well, I was telling you this is the phone I'm hooked up to. Well, it is. You can see it, but I was holding it up to the camera. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> the phone I'm hooked up to, I mean, hang on. My ear's already itching. Something tickling my ear. So, um, phone I'm hooked up to is down on my desk and generally when it's that far away if I try to talk to Google search or anything it won't hear me so the headset does work for that from what I can tell actually I could have had the phone close enough it was actually doing it on the phone so let's see and I don't know if you can hear you may end up hearing in the background my neighbors mowing and weed eating and stuff and so I hope not but I don't want to wait all day V8 headset. <clears throat> I don't know if it's ready or not. Sometimes it just... Oh, that hurt my ears. Well, it worked. Sometimes it's behind uh, on the display. So, um... I think that's it. The one I have... Well, that, that looks like it right there. Oh, look. Someone else has it cheaper. That's a good idea. Go look it up. I was rolling my mouse wheel. <clears throat> no, and you don't... I always forget which way to go. That's a different headset, I think. <coughs> well, lucky for you, I discovered something yesterday, a feature of GTK Record My Desktop. It's a pause. It actually has a pause right up there. You can right-click on that little button right there, and it'll pause. So when I started coughing, now I can pause as long as I can remember in time to do it. <coughs> My neck gets tired, so I got to put my head up on my neck pillow. I, it doesn't look good in videos, but oh well, who cares? <clears throat> so yeah, this is a different one. This is not the one that uh, I have. This one has a boom mic on it. Same brand though. 
So anyway, that was just a test anyway. What I'm wondering is, the thing is, is so far every video test, it has uh, been picking up from the camera mic, not this mic. I can tell, you know, I'll move it out away from me. I'll take the, oh, let me get switched over here. I'll have, you know, I can move the camera out of the way and I can tell as it gets, you know, quieter out here and then louder up here, then that's the camera mic. Uh, because the headset's not going to move. And then at another time I took the headset off and moved it around. And uh, <clears throat> so I got a bunch of little videos of me doing that today. Uh, try, uh, it helps me figure things out, you know, by doing that. I can go back and watch them and see what happened. Right. So um, anyway, that was, I'm thinking maybe I should put it even further away. Okay, now I put it far enough away, I'm almost certain it wouldn't pick it up. Uh, Okay. Oh, my oh God, that, <laughs> I've got the volume up all the way on. Oh, my gosh. Um, you can turn the volume up and down. See, this is one reason why I hate headsets. Because you don't know what you're going to get at any given time. You know what? <clears throat> um... Let me get my my phones. You can't hear anything on them except for the phone junk, you know. And I keep them. And when I make, all I really use them for is making videos. So I'm always having them up all the way. Oh man, I can't. I did that twice in a row right here while I'm making this video. I kept forgetting. And the noises in the uh, headset are pretty darn loud. So I had them both. So that I could hear my videos I've been making, my tests earlier, had them both turned up all the way, the phones and the headset. Not a good idea <clears throat> whenever you do Google search. I just figured that out. Help. Okay, it heard me, but the phone was right here by me. Now let me move the phone. I'm beginning to think that uh, Alcatel... It's still almost too loud. I have the headset turned down all the way. No, it worked. Okay, good. See, I got. You've got to feel around and memorize the buttons. That's really not very easy. I imagine all of them would be hard for me. I mean, I can do it. At least these buttons are big enough that I can do it. But you know, I guess if I, the longer I had them, if I was going to keep them, then the better that would do. That keeps them when you go away from it, it'll get smaller. So that did work. <clears throat> Let's try something else. Um, make sure that's what seems to be working. Phone. I can't think of anything. Phone home. <laughs> I didn't mean to say. I didn't say home. ET phone home. <coughs> <coughs> so. Where's home? Yes, I'm in. Home Depot. <coughs> okay. That's funny. All right, now, so I believe I'm going to leave it over there so that it's there's no chance of, you know, any of these tests being picked up <clears throat> by the phone. So I believe that's the headset. <clears throat> Seems to work. I never cough. I never notice coughing until I start making a video, and then that seems to be all I do. Okay, so... Um, Now, let me go to, I'm going to go to the website, and I'm going to show you what I'm supposed to have here. <clears throat> this is what I bought, $23.99. <clears throat> it's, uh, well, all these, are, these are their pictures of it. Here's the buttons I was showing you. See the left and right, minus and plus for volume and, and the power button. And that's how you answer calls and stuff. I, I haven't, I don't have phone service on these phones. I got three of them, and I didn't get them for phones I don't really need a mobile phone. <clears throat> I just use them for. <clears throat> I just use them for uh, cameras and pocket computer. You know, actually, I don't really use them for computer type stuff necessarily because uh, I I don't you know I'm not in I like real com desktop computers for that or, or at least a laptop. You know, so. Um, Anyway, the, oh, and they have the different colors of white and red. I don't think they look good. I like them. 
I don't care for that one, but that would be okay. But I like this one the best. Anyway, it, uh, it Ov- Ov- Ovling, I guess is the brand name, V8 Wireless Bluetooth. It says foldable in there. Well, it's not foldable, but I didn't want a foldable. Because those things, uh, I could see by looking at the ones they had, I spent hours and hours a whole day, you know, researching them <clears throat> before I bought one. Let me kind of look over and see if it looks like I'm still getting audio. Yeah, as long as my file's going, I should be all right. Now, I imagine you may hear that blower or edger or whatever that is. <clears throat> let me get, uh, let me stop here for a second. Well, that's cool. Okay, <clears throat> they do have um, pretty good insulated properties, I think, for, you know, somewhat. Uh, well, I can tell that that edger going or you know blower a minute ago was muffled some, and uh, <clears throat> but I know how loud it is because I've been listening to it for the last couple of hours. And uh, so anyway, I just went ahead and paused my video. It's nice uh, now that I realize you, that's a feature of uh, my you know record my desktop. This is pretty cool. There's a lot of help that can be. I meant to go look at my video and see what it, you know, I guess it would stop making uh, video size while it's doing that. It should. Uh, for a while, I thought, is it just pausing the audio and still making video? But it, it wasn't because I tested it yesterday or the day before. Okay, so <clears throat> the o- Ovling, Ovling V8 wireless Bluetooth adapter, foldable and adjustable headband for comfort and secure fit. Well, it's really not foldable. I'll show you thing I took it off and I, like I said I don't want it folding I, I made sure I didn't get one that folds because so many uh, every brand that I saw the folding ones broke in no time you know or in a too or too quickly period I don't care how long it is I don't want them breaking you know and I don't need that so <clears throat> but it's so that's part of the and what I'm getting at is from I didn't realize this until I got it but of course I didn't know till I got it I didn't even notice it said foldable really but uh, the description is not what you're getting, and that's pretty crappy, and it's, I'm pretty pissed off about that. Uh, it's line-in function equipped with audio cable for free. That is the number one reason I bought it, because I thought if the Bluetooth don't work, then I can use the analog audio cable, because I have a little uh, Bluetooth <coughs> earpiece, you know, a little... Uh, Let me grab it. Let me show it here. <coughs> I have uh, one of these that was actually given to me. Uh, it, that's just it by itself. It uh, and you know they didn't know if it worked or whatever. It uh, the battery is completely dead. It won't charge. But if I plug it into a USB, the ones that can, cables that you know the little micro to regular USB, micro uh, mail to uh, mail uh, to B USB mail then uh it, it'll run you know it works perfectly and i've hooked it up to my phones and tried to record with it but it wouldn't they wouldn't record with it <clears throat> and my the application that i use open camera uh it's got settings in it that it should you know you would think it would, should work uh but also it won't uh, neither one of these will um work with uh, my bluetooth deal or this bluetooth headset that i just got and I didn't know for sure if it would work. I was hoping it would. It says it will on most of these that I looked at. But um, um, I thought, well, you know, I can always have a fallback with that audio cable. Well, I didn't get it. And on, on top of that, it does not have, and I couldn't show you the detail on the headset anyway, but uh, I'll show, I'll kind of show it around. But there are no... I, mean, I think you can probably see the plug, the little micro USB for charging it. And, of course, that side is the only one that would have that because the other side's the uh, only thing it has is maybe a wire running around it to hook up the other speaker. But nowhere on this is there an audio cable. You know, it says 3.5 millimeter audio cable. <clears throat> well, it's not there. So this one doesn't even have that. It's not made that way. So there you go, false advertising there. Uh, stereo headphone quality, hands-free calling, built-in HD microphone. I'm kind of going, okay, I'll try to read it in order. Stereo headphone quality, HD sound, and built-in HD microphone for hands-free calling for voice recording. Six, for voice recording, which is what I want to do. Six to eight hours music, playtime eight uh, hours talking. 
You can enjoy music when you are running, cycling, playing, and so on. Up to 10 hours of battery life, 40 millimeter drivers, impedance 32 ohm, frequency response 20 hertz, 20 hertz to uh, okay, 20 hertz to 20.000 hertz. Usually they say 20 hertz to so and so kilohertz. So it threw me off. Sensibility uh, 106 dB and so on. A polymer lithium battery can control volume tracks. Many more from easy access sensibility buttons located on the front right hand. Those buttons are all right. They're, I'm, I've seen a lot of devices where the buttons are a lot harder to use, you know. Uh, high, highly tuned for, uh, 40 millimeter neo, neodymium drivers produce. Uh, pr it's They're using the words, and obviously, it wasn't an uh, American or an English person that wrote this description out. Uh, highly tuned 40 millimeter neodymium drivers produce provide produce provide pitch perfect audio and a thumping bass and detailed high end. Built-in microphone adopts noise canceling technology to obtain the high quality voice input. Bluetooth headphones built-in mic for hands-free function. Trans uh, mish. Transmission distance up to 10 meters, omnidirectional microphone that picks up your voice without having to talk directly, hands-free functionality, let you chat using any actual, any of actual applications as Skype. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> VOIP, VOIP phone service, Cisco Jabber, uh, MS Link. Sometimes they put in commas, sometimes they don't. Maybe Cisco Jabber MS Link is, is an app. I actually don't know about that. Let you convert the smartphone or Bluetooth device. Convert. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll just flip on down here, and then I'll show you. There's some comparisons, you know. But um, I'm not going to sit here and try to read all this, but um, it has a good list of things that it has and, you know, supposed to have and everything. Um, <clears throat> it says Bluetooth 4.0. It says on the uh, all over it, uh, Bluetooth 3.0. Where, I forgot where I saw it, but uh, maybe it might have been the little manual that came with it. It's microscopic, so I wouldn't even dream of trying to show it. But uh, I don't know if it says it on the box or not. Let me see. Maybe it was in the software. But... Um, yeah, that's going to be too fiddly to get out <clears throat> it's bluetooth 3.0 is what it is instead of 4.0 and that's a big difference you know there's a lot as the bluetooth gets progressed it got a less delay it, i figured all that out when i got this bluetooth speaker for my mom to use watching tv that she could a personal speaker she could sit right beside her where she could understand what's going the, what they're saying and i had to get the newest one available i think it was last year yeah or earlier than, yeah last year now because it's 2017 but her birthday like earlier in 2016 uh and it worked good I, if i'd have bought one of the older models the cheaper ones it would have had a delay and it'd be like the mouse moving but it's not talking yet you know and it'd been horrible but i figured that out by just reading a bunch of reviews you know and learned which one to get <clears throat> okay and it's a lot of this regurgitating what they said up there in the description and uh, this, uh, I thought this looked up nice. Well, here, let me get back off, back on the camera. I thought this looked nice and soft, and it is. It's, it 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 feels good on your head, you know. Uh, overall, the comfort would be good, except for that they do heat up my ears too, and make this make them itch because <laughs> they get hot, and. Uh, <clears throat> So and then I, I really have I just don't like wearing headphones for that one one of the reasons so my main reason is like, you know the sound hurts my ears second is they end up hurting my ears but uh, I don't like wearing headphones anyway but so as uh, <clears throat> far as comfort I'd say these are even they're more comfortable than my professional uh, <clears throat> headphones that I have they're not put away right now but I'm trying to see the brand I've already forgot but anyway there's some. I've had them for quite a few years now, but they're recording headphones. They're uh, flat response headphones. 
<clears throat> I used to mix found, and I like I've done some you know recording too. So uh, yeah, it says right there Bluetooth version four point oh. Well, it's three point oh. Um, so you know a lot of them don't give you all these details. So I th- thought that was a good thing, you know. And the battery battery capacity three hundred milliamps, ten hours. Okay, so right down in here, you know, package content. One Bluetooth headphone V8, one USB cable, which I got, and it was about six inches long, but it worked. I think quite six inches long. I charged it up over last night with it, and then one three three point five millimeter cable. That's the audio cable, but there's not even a place to put one if I had one. And then one English user manual. <clears throat> so it's got a little bit of you know pamphlet with instructions, and it's enough to tell you what to do. And then one side's you know English, and one side's uh, Chinese, I think. Symbols that I can't read. That looks like what what you know Chinese or could be Chinese Mandarin or whatever. But uh, I wouldn't know the difference. But um, so there you go. Uh, and of course, I read all the reviews. It doesn't have a huge amount of reviews. I like to get things that have you know no less than like a hundred reviews. But also didn't want to spend a bunch of money and i did look at some more expensive ones like 65 and 55 66 65 dollar ones and and they had just as much trouble as the 25 dollar ones or the 20 dollar ones you know well the 20 was kind of the bottom price on them that i saw i didn't think i'd want any of those little bitty ear but i know i don't want something stuck in my ear but um there's a so difference lots to choose from so anyway uh, that's a good percentage. You don't see that very often, 83%, even, especially out of just a few reviews. So I thought, maybe those are all right, you know. Um, but, heck, you're not even getting... And that's the one thing, you know, like, say, well, I bought a Seagate expansion hard drive. And, and I mean, I've noticed in the last couple of years, uh, th- you know, all the reviews were on all different sizes of Seagate hard drives. They weren't about that hard drive. So this... These reviews have just now dawned on me this minute. Could be about other headsets made by this brand, too, that they sell on Amazon. Because, you know, the people don't generally say this is the... Once in a while, you'll see somebody say, this is the one I have, it's the model number, and because they know that, you know. But these are just like most people. They just say, I like it, I don't like it. Um, and most of them did like it, see. So, um, <clears throat> and like if you do search for cable in here, you'll see that that, that... And then that's just, you know, some of the related stuff. But they're telling you you're going to get an audio cable. So they're making it an advertisement thing there, you know, for cable for free. So, uh, <clears throat> and that is the reason I bought this one instead of another set that was actually $20 instead of twenty three ninety nine, Because uh, two reasons. This one had the bigger ear cups, and I thought that's going to cover my ears be more comfortable. And the other reason was that other one had, it, it had, and I know this one, other one had the, the, an analog output because it was a video of a guy using it but there was only two reviews his and he was one of those people that gets it for free and of course he loved it and it's the best headphone headset he'd ever seen (laughs) for the price and all that so you know i kind of took that with a grain of salt uh and he did not mention he's holding an audio cable in his hand but he didn't mention that uh, it didn't come with it and then the only other review said um you don't get the audio cable. So I almost missed that. I was fixing to order that one. And then I thought of the other thing, the ear, you know, the ear cup size. And then then I thought, okay, this other one, I'll go ahead and get this one, this one right here. Well, now I wish I'd have got the other one because it would probably would have worked. Or maybe I'll get some of these other styles that, that uh, just kind of maybe. I don't know if I'd want that thing where you hang that thing around your neck or what. But uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> That they're gonna have to go back while they're while the going back is good because I can't. There's the only thing they're good for is for listening to music wirelessly or a TV. They might work on the TV. I don't know. They're not Bluetooth 4.0. They're 3.0, so they'd probably get so much lag that uh, it wouldn't even be good for the TV. Just probably just music, and that's not what I want. I want a bottom for the you know the mic, and I. Uh, um, I don't know if they'll... I may try that. That may be one thing I'll do right here in a minute. Let's see. Kind of looking and getting myself turned around. Okay, yeah, we're still... Looks like we're getting audio. <clears throat> okay, go back to my phone. I'll put them on my head again. I thought to take them off. Yeah, when I put them on, I can really hear my voice echoing in my head. So they definitely seal pretty good. 
I uh, believe there's quite a bit of difference as far as the, you know, the, uh, the, the, uh, you know, if you hear your voice in your head louder when you put them on, then they're, they're sealing better than, say, like my other ones. I, I don't have any trouble hearing what's around the room <clears throat> with my regular mixing headphones, but that's fine. You know, they're, they're not supposed to be noise canceling. So they, might, they, have, I, they have some noise canceling. I can tell that. And like I said, there was noise a while ago, and it sounded quite a bit diff- less loud. <clears throat> I almost didn't realize, oh, that's going to be p- picking up in the mic pretty big, you know. So, um, the Google t- Tester. Okay, here's the next thing I'll do. Uh, I don't really have anybody to, like I said, I don't have service on the phone, so I couldn't make a phone call if I had to, except for 911, I guess. But um, I don't think I'll do that for a video. Uh, and uh, But I can call my local time and temperature, and I'll show you how it actually it was cutting out before. So let's call it. And we'll see. I don't know how loud it's going to end up being. Oh, yeah, I turned everything down. So this is a pretty loud thing, though. So I'm going to kind of... Weather forecast is not available at this time. Okay. Do you hear that? <clears throat> Well, it went away. Then it would have blown my head off. I took them off just in time. Uh, it's pretty loud. Um, no, wait for a minute, because the last time I did this, okay, no, it, it it disconnected. Okay, now, I'm going to get over here on my camera, put this over here to the side, <clears throat> grab my other phone, the one that's not hooked up to the uh, headset, and I'm going to do that again, and we'll play that on the, uh, we'll play that on my microphone here. And I don't think it'll cut out. It didn't earlier. Get over here where I can hear it. Good afternoon. Today is Saturday, January 21st. Chase Bank, thanks you for your call. Chase Bank time, 304. Current temperature, 66 degrees. The weather forecast is not available at this time. Yeah, normally they give a weather forecast. So I guess the... the, the uh-oh, now the silly phone. I hate when they do that. Well, it got away. It, okay, it went away. The, it makes a zoomed-in thing, and then you're, you're sometimes it locks up your phone, and you can't get out of it. Okay, so <clears throat> it's cutting out, and it does it every time I dial the time and temperature. So it's the Bluetooth cutting out so there uh, now here now go back uh, that that's worthless for that for making a google voice call and uh there's no problem with me making the google, google voice call you can see that by my other phone uh i can't call anybody because i don't have anybody to call you know uh, i don't really use the phone much to be honest so um there's really nobody I could think of to call. So uh, <clears throat> you can call and listen to that. But see, it works perfectly on the phone, not using the Bluetooth headset. But uh, using the Bluetooth headset, it, it cuts out so bad you don't, hardly, don't really know what they're saying. So the Bluetooth must uh, be kind of iffy, you know. And the phone, I set it over there about... Um, here's my arm and then another foot. It's over there behind my laptop, so uh, it's not that far away. It's not ten meters away, or you know, or anything. I mean, not five meters. I, I forget how many ten meters is. I think it's somewhere, somewhere around. I want to say seven foot, but maybe it's twelve foot. I've already forgot what which way you go with all that conversion stuff. But uh, <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, I switched on you. Well, I had to pause it because I started coughing again. Okay, so let me get. Things back there. I am okay. I've got to get disoriented again. Get reoriented because I got disoriented. So here we go. <clears throat> what else can we test? Okay, it, it does pick up. The mic does pick up in Google Voice. Uh, I can put it on. Like I said, I don't have phone service, but oh, well, there's something. That's not the right button. Never mind. 
you know, there's a, that's the phone button, but what it is is there's a voice dialer in there. I just clicked on it by accident once, look, looking for Google vo- uh, the Google's voice search, but uh, I've tried other things. I tried uh, I've tried the regular camera app that uh, come with the phone. It won't pick up the mic. Uh, well, here and I'll show you. I'm not going to open them up because it'll just freeze up the phone. But uh, open camera has settings in there. Actually, can I do that? I'm going to open it anyway. It won't. It'll freeze up the display, but it's not going to hurt anything. So the phone's over there laying down, so you know it's in a weird orientation, but. Uh, I'll show you the settings. I believe I can do that. I didn't ever know they did that. That's a, like a uh, ah, thumbnail of one of my last videos. Okay. Uh, yeah, I may not be going to respond enough for me to do it. I was going to show you the settings in the phone app, but this is open camera, and I really like it. it it's still being developed, so it's you know sometimes it it'll get well, they update it all the time, and sometimes when they update it. it the settings you set won't work. It actually won't make a video, and then you, but you can go back to the default settings and it'll work again. Haven't had that trouble lately though, so I'm gonna have to get out of there because it's just not gonna do anything. I accidentally made the weather come up. It's a little different working your phone with a mouse than it is with uh, your finger. But I want to keep it away from me. I could just hold it. Normally, what I do is put it right beside me, and whatever's easier, I do it. You know, put it. Work the phone with my left hand, the mouse with the right hand. But uh, so yeah, Insta Lively is a video recording app, but I don't believe that would make any difference. I could try it here in a minute, but it's for making live videos to I think yeah, Camera File Live. I used that the other day. Yeah, Camera File Live works. It makes a lower quality video, but it streams straight to YouTube. The other one actually said it couldn't do it, and I was doing it with this running. I think maybe it was. It said your speed, your your connection's not fast enough. I thought, well, maybe it's because I'm doing remote desktop on the phone. So I, I didn't try it again since then. So um, anyway, I've tried the open camera and the the basic camera app that came with it. It doesn't even have any settings in it for an external mic, so I doubt seriously it would ever work. Open camera should. I've never been able to do it before because I've never had an external mic to work that would I could plug in or wirelessly hook up to the phone uh, other you know like that other bluetooth device neither one of them's worked so far so I, you know i can't say 100 percent about that whether it's the apps or the uh and the devices or what but uh, uh and maybe i can find an app you know that will that it would work with but again there's too many other problems with this particular headset uh, <clears throat> I want a wireless headset so that I can set my camera on a tripod and then walk, you know, five, ten feet away, making a video, and still my, my voice will be just right, you know, because I like to do project videos when I'm working outside and stuff in the garage and stuff. So, um, yeah, camera for live. It's looking for the voice recorder. I didn't mean to do that. I went to do like that and drag. <clears throat> Yeah, you can drag with the mouse in the, one of these uh, remote uh, remote desktop remote fo- remote phone top apps, but you have to pay attention to what you're doing. I don't know why Android shows the same icons over and over. I'd like just to have them in there once. It's just confusing. I only started with uh, smartphones last year. I've been in the computers for since 98 every day all day in the computers and I've learned quite a bit I'm really into Linux by the way this is Fedora 23 I'm working in here uh, Fedora 23 Linux <clears throat> um, but and, and and Android is built on the Linux kernel so it's really very similar uh, in as far as the underlying opera uh, operating system and the file system but the app ecosystem is completely different it's like Windows freeware crapware stuff drives me crazy all the advertisements and stuff but uh <clears throat> i won't use an app that app that blinks at me if it starts blinking at me when i install it i uninstall it i don't even use it can't stand it but anyway um finding apps is much harder i gotta go through a lot more you know advertisements and when you read about the apps in the package manager and the linux distro 
you know, it is what it is. They tell you, they do go out of their way to be honest about it. it does this, it does it do that? This is being developed, you know, and so on. And the, and the uh, Android, you know, marketplace, uh, Google Play, there, everybody, oh, this is the best app in the world. You, you got to get it, you got to pay for it, you know, and some of them are actually free and they're still the best app in the world, you know, and so all you can, you can read the reviews. And of course, a lot of, some people are really picky for something that's free, but anyway. <clears throat> Um. <coughs> so, um, well, I'm afraid I'm going to hit. I think I remember a long time ago what I, I'd forgotten all about the pause button. And I had to use it just now. A um, long time ago, I think I used to use it and I quit because I would forget and leave it paused, you know, and ruin my whole video. But as long as I could think to turn it on and off right, then, uh, of course, I could be at the end of this and say, oh, crap, I've had it on for pause and talk to myself for 20 minutes, you know. <laughs> But uh, that's up in my way there. Okay, uh, next app. I knew there. I, I'm looking for the phone uh, app that records audio, and according to the description, you know, it should do that. It does. The mic works. It. it uh, oh, and the other thing I could show is the voice dialer for the phone, but it won't do anything. It'll just say, "Oh, you can't do a voice dialing because you don't have phone service." But so I won't, no point in that. <clears throat> Okay, um, radio, yeah, I'm getting closer. There it is, sound recorder. It's kind of a neat app. Okay, so you can click on there. And uh, I haven't used it very few times. So I have to kind of wait and see if it responded in here because uh, sometimes the display doesn't refresh real soon. Might have to get the phone where I can see it. I don't know what's happening. For all I know, it was recording. Even sometimes it uh, it works, and oh, it's recording. It's up to twenty nine seconds. The res did my display is not responding, but and you can go in here in Team Viewer and say uh, refresh, but it doesn't seem to help. So I'm up to forty one seconds, and it may have getting louder. Okay, if it gets louder now, it's because I got the phone up to my mouth here. See, I got the phone right here. Now, if it gets quieter as I move away, then obviously it is not the headset that's doing the picking up. So, let's get over here, and I'm just going to do it on the phone now. Forgot, oh, there's a stop button on the right. Okay, now I'm going to save it. Let me go back into the, so I can show what I'm doing. That asked me, do I want to save it? Yeah. Okay, now, oh yeah, and you, you got to click. It brings up and changes the menu there. It's really kind of confusing. <clears throat> okay, now I can click on it and play it. And uh, I don't think it started playing yet. I clicked, double clicked on it. Oh, it is playing, but I guess my volume's down too low. See, I have to, to hear anything on this phone, or any of the audio and stuff. Maybe it's the volume on the... Uh, it might be the volume on here. Let's see. Which one's up? There it is. And it's really loud. When you click it on that, it's very loud in your ear. Uh, it's irritating. Oh, you can't drag. I was trying to drag the uh, thing back. It's almost to the end, so I'll just start it over. Okay, now let me get this headset off, and I'll put the headset right here. Okay, the mic picks up better from the front than the sides, so that well, was kind of it's omnidirectional, but anyway. I can't really hear it unless I'm right there. I don't think it started yet. Because I didn't know it was working.
sounding much louder in my ear. There, that's up all the way. That and it does that in your ear when it gets. Okay, so that was the end of it. <clears throat> so, yeah, good that I had the phone far enough away. I'm going to leave it over there so that I don't fool myself. So, so far, the only thing that the mic works on is the search. I mean, the mic, yeah, the only mic on the headset works on is the search and the. Uh, <clears throat> Um, I already forgot what I was thinking. The two things I tried that worked: the, uh, the Google Voice search, and uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it works in uh, Google Voice calling because I don't have anybody to call. I'd like to do that because I think it might work in there. It's supposed to. It's supposed to work on all every kind of audio your phone does. So could blame it on the phone operating system, but. Uh, <clears throat> these are a little bit older phones or uh let me see i'll just go in there and show it show you exactly because i know that does make a difference um i have to grab the phone it's kind of hard to, on that screen it's, okay about the phone i think i missed it Click it with the mouse. Okay, now about the phone. Alcatel 845L, Android version 4.3. So it's not brand new, but it's not super old either. And a lot of this stuff I read, a lot of this audio stuff, it will it started working, being implemented into Android in Android 3.0. Whoops, banging the mic again. So, you know, 4.3 should work for most of this. Um, and I did, uh, I don't know if this phone has that app in it or not. Yeah, I think it does. Um, <clears throat> so, there's something about the Bluetooth. Matter of fact, I, I'll just go to that. There it is right there, uh, USB OTG checker, because I was trying to hook up. Uh, I wanted to hook up my, my Shure SM58 that I'm talking on here. I wanted to just go straight from my, I wanted to go straight from my Shure SM58 through my V amp back here. Uh, it's actually a guitar effects, but it has some couple of good effects that works good for voice. So uh, that's going over into my computer. That's my preamp for my mic. Now I hadn't been using that. I've been using a cassette deck for years, and I had this all this time, but I hadn't. Uh, I think I tried it once. And I didn't get it working, and then figured it out a couple weeks ago. Um, so um, I wanted to be able to go straight into the phone with. Where is what? Where is that thing? I actually read that you could do this on Hackaday.com. This is a $2 um, audio adapter that you plug into a computer. Uh, it's just a cover over it, USB. Just a regular USB. So, you know, not going into the phone. But I bought an OTG cable that's a Y cable so that you can plug it in here. And I've got it put away, but I'll right, show it. And then you can plug it into the phone, and then the other side could uh, plug into a power source like your charger or whatever. And... Uh, it's supposed to supply power to the device is what they say, but what ended up happening with my phone is all I did was charge the phone, no matter what, whether this is plugged in or not. And so, you know, that was my first try at getting uh, audio into the phone. Cause that, and they were saying that's the way you can get the best quality audio you could get in your phone was, you know, with the USB because it's got the bandwidth and everything. And you want, and I know from experience, you know, the analog cable plugged in the phone. Every time you touch it, it's going to make noise, and so I really don't want to go that way. Every time I get out of that, it gets small again. <clears throat> okay, so um, this right here, it's a little app I f found. Now, I read and read and read, and what I found out, not, and once I found this app, not compatible with USB OTG, so I can't use any of that OTG stuff on these phones. Uh, and his suggestions here are uh, it doesn't have Android hardware USB host. That is uh, part of the uh, something I think that's built into the kernel, I believe, uh, of the operating system, if I remember right. 
USB device list, well, I don't know what that specifically means. It has USB manager, which is an app. It says right at the top there, you may need your root uh, to solve this issue. And then it says, check on the internet, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's how I found this app, by checking on the internet, maybe. So, I don't know, that doesn't, you can't make it uh, go up and read the rest of it, but uh, pretty handy there. It's called USB OTG Checker. There's a bunch of them, but this one had good reviews, so I tried it first. So, I don't need to try it on my other phones, and I was just going to uninstall it, but I hadn't yet, so that's good. Just this moment. <clears throat> so, um, let's see if I can, I guess that's the one bad thing about trying to drag with the, uh, what did I open up? Google Games or something. I need a lot of this stuff I'd like to take off of there that are Google stuff that I don't use. But then they say, oh, you might mess up the functionality of your phone. And I did it anyway. And then it started chewing up a lot of battery, more battery than ever. So I put one or, one or two of them I took off, I put them back. But there's a bunch of junk on here that just drives me nuts. I don't want to look at it. It just makes it hard for me to find what I want to find. But uh, I'm going to sit here and use my fingers on the phone now because <clears throat> uh, less when you start losing a little bit of your concentration you, you it's harder to do this with your mouse uh, clicking on them is great but sliding back and forth is easier with your finger on the touch on touch on the phone okay all in one let's see all in one mm -hmm. camera file live okay which one works camera file live I'm gonna go through them first think yeah I think camera file live was the one that worked it hasn't it, the phone's moved but the display it's not uh, I think the uh, I don't know if it would help to disconnect and reconnect or what but pro it might it's already to the point it's not uh, there it is insta lively that's the other one I think I'll do that um, <clears throat> because I don't maybe that'll help but I don't know if it will or not the phone's not hot or anything so it shouldn't be a problem, really. But let's just try that. Um, if I close that, okay, that disconnected it. Now I still have TeamViewer running, and you can see, by the way, you can see all your specs and the other things that you can do with your phone. You can go to remote control by clicking on that or by this. Take a screenshot. It actually just asks the person on the phone to take a screenshot. Apps list, processes, settings. So it's pretty darn cool. Uh, what all it can do so I'm going to close that now that disconnected me now it said something on the phone <clears throat> now I'm going to and then, uh, that password and all that stuff that changes automatically every time you uh, open and close this app so uh, you do have security there <clears throat> okay so what you have to do is you have to have this app installed on your phone it's called uh, quick support and uh, you, turn, you open it up and then you um, of course that was the one my that phone is the last one I was on so I like I don't have to type anything and there and if you start typing the number and it's already been used it'll be in a drop-down list there but oddly you can't just click the drop-down list you have to start typing and that is on that side is the number for the machine I'm on, the Linux machine here, and that's its temporary password. So at first I was leery about showing that, and then the phone comes up and says, oh, let me get over there before it gets too late. It says, do you want to allow it? Now the others don't do that part, you, you know, like desktops, you can just log in. But the phone, you have to, oh, that put it in the wrong desktop. That's all right, I'll move it to the one I want it on. Okay, I want it over here on five, I believe. Yeah, and so <clears throat> I don't know why that. It just bugs me that being partially off the screen, but that's just the way they designed it. And then it doesn't come up in front of you. You have to go down there and find it and open it up. See if that helped any. But uh, I want to do. Uh, I want to do camera file live. <coughs> forgot about the mute button okay a newer version is available I don't want to do that right now do I no not while I'm making a video I did that the other day I don't know why I my updates are all automatic it should have already uh, done that so uh, <clears throat> do not I don't yeah this is one with advertisements 
Now let's see. It do, it's a it's small and square instead of wide. Let's see if we can uh, straighten that out. Uh, let me see. Okay, there it is. VGA four point three. Okay, now what it do? Forty p. Yeah, I don't think. I think what'll happen is you won't uh, stream well if you get too big. Okay, so it only does VGA <coughs> sizes. Oh, there's a mic setting, and you can switch cameras, and I'm not sure what that world thing is there. And I'm holding the camera up the right way so that I don't think it switches, though. No, it doesn't, which is actually, I'm going to start setting my other camera that way because I keep getting, with that auto flipping, it flips when I don't want it to. Let's see if you can actually change the mic settings. It didn't actually respond. Let me try it on the phone. <clears throat> doesn't do anything. I can kind of see the screen responding, but what is that world? Broadcast setting is public. Oh, okay. Well, that's just telling you what it is. It's not, doesn't seem like, those up there make me think it's part of the app, but that's part of the phone. Okay. And it streams directly to YouTube. <coughs> okay, so, I don't. Oh, here's a gears for settings. There we go. No, that's the. Uh, that's that part. I don't. I just already have something set in there. Oh. Oh, so you can do 720p. There's a setting. I'm gonna try that. And it's 16 by nine. I think I might have had to change that because I'm rolling it on my mouse wheel, but it's not showing up in the screen. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay. There's all the settings. Let's see. Yeah, video settings. 360 degree live stream. I think that's just what they call the system information feedback about. So I guess that's it. So yeah, now that'll... Okay, now that's more like it. That's the right size. I don't know how well it'll stream at that, but uh, I really didn't like I didn't even want to use it that other way. It's really hard. You're not getting everything in this in the, uh, you know, in your camera, because I'm used to the full whatever this you see on the screen. What you see is what you get, you know. But it's not. Uh, my camera is already back to camera mode. <clears throat> I'll show you. Here's what I'm seeing, but you're seeing that screen, so it's not refreshing quick enough. Okay, is it back? No, it's still. It may be frozen. I don't know. I guess it's just not. Maybe that made that much more bandwidth. But see, there, I started to hit the back button, but you, you don't want to do that. And I'll try hitting refresh. Whoops. I don't think it'll work, but we'll try it anyway. It hasn't ever so far. Or maybe it doesn't. It's just kind of slow, and I don't realize it. Yeah. But see, I'm looking at. Uh, my phone screen like I should be. <coughs> I mean the camera screen like I should be. So from my remote here, I can't start the uh, recording. And I can't show it to you either, which it doesn't matter too much. But I guess I can change it back to 14. Let's, I wonder if I change it back if that'll make... Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not in the change screen. Okay. Um, Okay, now it asks me if I want to create it. I, I don't. I, I know that it's going to just use the mic. It's just going to use the mic and the camera. I guarantee that. But uh, we'll go ahead and try it. Just see what happens. Okay, it's fixing to start. There we. Oh, it showed up now. Okay, it's getting video feedback because I'm showing my. Uh, video screen uh, that's called video feedback and it's not refreshing very soon now what that what there's the broadcast is seeing is my test that i'm doing on uh, camera file live again um i'm trying to see if this new headset will um do the audio to my phone in camera file live it won't in open camera it won't in the voice recorder the only thing that picks it up so far is google voice search that i've been able to find out uh, use 
So I'm trying camera for a lot. Um, that's my webcam. I'm making a desktop video of it all. And uh, anyway, I thought I would test this out. And that's the headset that I'm using right there. Okay, that ought to be good enough. Wait a minute. It still says go. And it never did start yet. It says, before streaming, you can share your broadcast. You know, it looked like it was going. That's silly. I mean, when you hit the go button, you hit the start button, it should start. Okay, but it's, uh, yeah, it just says, re it says go on my um, phone. Hmm. I don't use, I haven't used this app much because I, I didn't have a good enough quality. So, um, unless that go actually means go share it. And the recording is over, like I thought. Uh, it says broadcast starting now. I can't get it in the right place. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think now I'm actually recording. Let's see. Well, there's something spinning on the screen there. Uh, okay, I'm testing camera file live. That's my webcam that I'm using right now and I don't know if it's working or not you know it's probably not going to work because I changed it to 720p I think that's why it was on 480 because 720 just won't hack it I think you'll probably end up with audio and video out of sync a bunch of glitching and everything okay now there's a timer on it so it's recording now and uh, anyway I was trying to see I moved this out here and tried to show my headset I'm wearing I'm trying to see if the mic on this headset here will uh, work on camera file live it won't work on open open camera so uh, let's just try that out and see all right stop okay do you want to close camera file live camera file live broadcasting why yes yes i do Closing the broadcast. Okay, so I think it's shutting down the, the streaming. Of course, this, no, this, yeah, this phone is actually also using the Wi Fi to stream over to my uh, team viewer here. So that's something to consider. So I'm, I won't turn it off at 720p because maybe the next time I turn it on, even if I have trouble this time. Okay, now it says, yeah, Don Bishop's broadcast share. I guess I'll have to hit that or it won't go to YouTube. <clears throat> and that's the, just the name you know you can give it a default name well I hit it but it hasn't done it there it goes oh then it asks you where do you want to share it so of course it comes up with some odd apps that wouldn't even do it you know what I think it goes to YouTube anyway yeah because none of the apps in here are YouTube yeah I'd forgotten Bluetooth you know all the different things that you might email things like that Okay, so yeah, um, it already went to, it, it'll go to YouTube. Okay, now let's get out of that. Now I went back a couple of screens and it's, it's still previewing, but you know, it's not doing anything. Sometimes you have to hit the button a hundred times to get back out of there on these apps. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll have to go to YouTube. Let me see. Let me. I'll do it on the computer because let me get this. Ah, now that's as long as it started really pinching my ear. Ah, can't remember what mode I'm in. Okay, yeah. What I see on my screen in front of me is what I'm broadcasting or recording. Yeah, and then if you get it set just right, it won't bother you as much. But I don't notice it right away. You know. You know, as big as these. I think maybe that would have been more comfortable. It's hard to tell. Now, that's really a little loose. But, I mean, it just felt like it had been sitting on my ear, but yet I didn't notice it until it started hurting. So that's what I'm saying about just headphones in general for me. Uh, they got more room, actually, than I think that my, my other ones, my, my expensive ones. <laughs> They're not that expensive. They were $49, but that was about 
16, 18 years ago. So, you know, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty, it was a consider, you know, a pretty good set of headphones back then. It was about the cheapest, decent headphones you could get for recording. Got them at Guitar Center, you know. But, um, <clears throat> um, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm already on. Okay, so all I got to do, I'll just get off this page. I'm not using it. Go to my YouTube page and uh, let's see. I'm definitely testing out the battery life today. I'm leaving them on for long periods of time. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, that's working in there. I'm gonna, yeah, it still looks like I'm getting video. I've had quite a few times when my audio would drop out or something. I start, That's why I started using Jack Audio Server. It seems to be much more dependable than the built-in ALSA, which it works through ALSA, but for some reason... <coughs> some reason I, I, it hasn't uh, quit on me anyway okay yeah here it is it, it gives it that name and then see my last test uh, I just went in and gave it a camera file live test you know so and so but um, let's see what we get here I suppose if I turn it I don't want to turn it up too loud but I guess I can turn it up a little bit and you can hear it may have uh may not be finished uploading actually go ahead and hit reload i started to just play it back on the phone but i thought well it should be on youtube could end up being too loud maybe it's not ready yet yeah, I would say it's probably not completely uploaded yet, so. <clears throat> Let me go back again. Oh. Looks like, uh, I think that's a, that's a live chat. I didn't know they did that on YouTube. Unless you're doing a live. Well, that is a live video. I didn't know. I only, I knew you could. Uh, people could chat when you do a live video from um, YouTube Live. I knew that people could chat and all that while you're doing live. But uh, that's somebody I know, an old friend. And I guess they just now did that. And I don't even know what you do. Um. Yeah, the previous video that I made, they, uh, well, I don't know why I'm going back. They wrote me a uh, note saying, what you know, what was I, was I doing there? You know, what was I up to with that video and stuff? So uh, let me click, click on it again. See if it'll play. I don't know if it's going to play or not. I was wanting to answer them, but I'm in the middle of making a video here, so I guess I'll wait. <laughs> I'll say. No, I don't do short uh, anything. You might have figured that out. Look at there, yeah, you, that's what you do. I don't know if she wrote that a long time ago, like this morning or yesterday evening or just now. So I suppose if she answered, then... Yeah, that's not working yet, so... 
And I know I have enough bandwidth. I got 60 megabits down and four, four up. So I know I have enough bandwidth to be... Well, you know, my Wi-Fi, my local Wi-Fi has got nothing to do with my internet streaming. So I know that's not my problem. I think it's just not uploaded yet. Um, <clears throat> I'll leave it there and go on. Let's see. So uh, what I will do, though, is go over here on the phone. And I can... Um, I'll just... I'll do it on the phone. That way I can show. Oh, the headset. I need the headset. I'll have to put it on the my head, and then when I hear it, I'll put it on the mic. Let's see. You know, I don't want it to be too loud at the beginning, though. Blow my head off. Okay, so. Let's see. These are going to be those videos. And then I'll go up here and refresh it. Oh, okay. I think that'll refresh it once you get in there because if you don't sometimes you don't get that video so I don't know if this is it or not let me try that refresh button again yeah I don't she probably wrote that a while back like hours ago my she's probably not there right now I thought well if she's there right now I want to ignore her and talk to her in a year or so or more okay um let's see. Okay, I started to turn it up on my computer. Oh Okay, now this is not the video I just made. Oh, I just realized something. I don't think that that video... Let me hit refresh. I don't think that those camera... That was the EQ. This is only a four-inch screen. It's very hard to work with. Let's look at this other... No, that's not it. Wait till it shows up. Yeah, those are other videos. So, yeah, these videos... I remember that last one I did didn't show up in my um, VLC window. So I'll have to wait to play it back when it's uh, showing up on YouTube. I mean, I could go to YouTube on here, but I don't think it'll work. We'll do it since the other one's not working. Well, hang on. Let's go back over here. I think it'd be better to reload that page. It should work better on the computer than on the phone. It almost usually always does. But... Uh, <clears throat> I think the one thing about this camera file live is um, kind of meant to be a for that, you know, for people to uh, you make a video and you sit there and talk, I guess, for a long time, uh, perhaps, and then chat with people and stuff, you know, in the window. Uh, and there's two of them that are like that. This this one and another one. So it's not going to play right now. So um, let's just stop it and. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my main channel or something. YouTube uses a lot of resources, so I actually don't like to stay on YouTube unless I'm playing stuff, especially when I'm making a desktop video, you know. So I'm gonna get off of there and I'll go back later. But uh, this is one I made earlier. Let's see if it plays. This is the one that she asked me what I was up to with. If it starts playing, okay. Okay, yeah, that chat's in both videos. Okay, now it's starting to make sense to me. So she might have said that first, and then, because she made a comment on the video, that's what I noticed. That could have been already there, and I never saw it. Well, I guess you, everything is working on my Internet. For all I know, I mean, there could be a problem, and I haven't even paid any attention. I haven't been trying to surf for hours. I've been making videos, so. I didn't even, you know, I haven't, no, let's see, well, yeah, I was on um, Amazon, okay, so let me see if I have some other something that is uh, my channel, see if one of my other videos is working, 
Okay, there's one. I'm confused about what's which one's the volume I want to get to, so I don't blow my head off. I got a feeling that YouTube is, is just not working for me to, right now. Look at that. It's not working. Huh. So maybe I've got need to reboot routers or something. Um, <clears throat> did not realize that. For all I know, my internet's uh, not working right. Let me go to my home page and see if other things are, seem to be working. Okay, am I still making my video? Yep, still making my video. Okay. So, um, just trying to think. This is the home page I like to read about, have for my news. Okay, here's the weather. It uh, brings in plenty of data, but not like an extreme amount. So, uh, I think there's something going on with YouTube. There's a website that tells you what's down. Uh-oh, more bad weather somewhere. And there's been a lot of four dead and a lot of bad weather lately. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if there's something like saying YouTube down. YouTube down or app not working. Hmm. Current status. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't ever see YouTube down. I head, but these headphones are very uncomfortable pretty quickly. I can't keep them on. Uh, cookies, yeah. I'm blocking your cookies. That's right. Okay. Um, I know what YouTube is. <clears throat> okay, uh, I have a problem with YouTube. Most reported, 70%. 20th of January, that was yesterday, not today. Somebody says, what's wrong with YouTube? Huh. <laughs> Is it right? Russian hack. Okay, uh, let's see. Watching videos. Hmm, well, there you go. I'm making a shortcut for that a folder for it. Let's see. What am I going to say? Websites. Okay. So, yeah, that was a big sidetrack, but actually that was helpful. Looks like there has actually been some. And see, I saw another one there. So there's actually been some problems. So I really never went to uh, outage map. I've seen stuff like that before. It doesn't look like there's any outage. There's some yellow, but no red or anything. I don't know. But it's definitely acting up, and I don't see a single problem with anything else uh, that I've been to. Down right now. I think I've been there before. You never know. Some of the biggest sites can be down. Are you supposed to type the site in there or what? Current status up. Yeah, but what? YouTube. Oh, okay. Right there. So it's up. Yeah, the site's up. Well, I'm not going to keep going with that. I'm just going to leave that where it is for now. Now, and when I lay these up on my desk, I can't really show you. My desk right up here in front of me, uh, that blue light never stops blinking, so that's driving me insane. So you can't just take them off and lay them on the desk. I guess if I, I laid it like that and I could see that. Where's the blue light? That drives me insane. I cannot stand blinking stuff, by the way, in case you didn't catch on. But turn it like that, I guess it'd be all right. But uh, And I can always put it over here. Right now I've got all the box for it and everything else under the sun. But, yeah, i got to figure out what to do there. Okay, so um, 
let's try another try another app here that was camera file live okay now I'm gonna go ahead and try the one that didn't want to work yesterday since I haven't really tried anything else um, looking that over it sure does help to put this up on the screen I can actually read the icons and if you pick YouTube and say uh, upload do a little video, it says what app do you want to use to do that with, you know. So um, and right now since YouTube's kind of acting up, I don't even uh, don't want to do that anyway. VLC you can stream with VLC, but um, it's hard to set up. Well, you can do it on the desktop. I tried to do it. I used to know how to do it back when I had Windows ninety on Windows ninety eight machine and and, and the Windows XP. I knew how to do that before I got into Linux in 2005, and then I tried to do it later, and they changed everything up so much I couldn't. I still have a hard time getting it work. I forget, you know, I don't try to do it real often, but VLC can do play, stream, do anything under the sun, but it can be very complicated sometimes to get it working. Okay, um, there it is, Insta Lively. <clears throat> okay, now I guess I'll put them on again. Now, this is different. Okay, I want to turn it that way, I think. Oh, this one doesn't turn. Yeah, well, I'm not even, I started to show the camera, but, you know, when you flip the phone sideways, it doesn't matter. I think when you're doing a camera, I think it matters. I'm not sure. I think it makes you uh, put in what you want to stream. Oh, no, on the phone, I can see it just says, oh, what do you see now? Okay, I'm not going to type anything in here this time. Please name your broadcast. Okay, I have to name my broadcast right there. Oh, now it flips sideways. I laid the phone down normal, in it, but it flipped. Okay, um, I already forgot the name of this app. I like to just say, uh, let me just go back. Can't remember the name of it. I have to go back because I can't remember. Insta Lively. Okay. Let's see if it'll do that. Now it flips. Okay, now it's a lot of times you can get it to stay. What do you see now? And then you can tap on the keyboard, and that's so awesome. Yeah, I'm not that fast on the phone. Insta L I V E L A. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Start broadcasting. Okay. Now what it's been doing is saying uh, it's not showing up over here on the computer, but I can. It's already changed the screen. It's saying starting broadcasting. Please don't press the back button. So, um, but it had, didn't work yesterday, so I'm kind of not too hopeful that it'll work today. It's, uh, let me go back over here. I may be giving my network too much to do, but, you know, as well as I surf around to every other page, I don't think that's why uh, YouTube was acting up. I think there's actually something going wrong with YouTube. Somebody, yeah, oops, internet too slow, go back and try again. I actually had that trouble with this app a lot. It's supposed to do high-quality streaming. You're supposed to be able to plug in a, they said you could plug in a DSLR camera into it with the USB if you have the right attachments and stuff. Of course, I don't even have a DSLR. The best cameras I've got are these phone cameras. So um, I had one good camera years ago, but uh, I haven't, I, you know, I sold it and uh, I haven't had anything since. Sold it in about 2000, 2000. Had it for about probably three years or something. But I've uh, got that headset on again. You know, I can. it makes my voice too loud in my ears, and it actually kind of starts giving me noise fatigue. So that would be the other. I guess I really don't want an over-the-ear headset after all. I guess I want the kind of... Actually, I think there's... You know, like I put... When I put this um, show here... When I put this thing on, I really didn't like it. I didn't like it hanging on my ear. Uh, and this one doesn't like poke in your ear like some of these other ones that 
like especially like the ones that are noise canceling they pump they, they stay up in your ear like an earplug i know that would bug me too much because i can't even hardly stand to wear earplugs i used to have to wear them with work oh i'm turning my head aren't i um see i used to have to wear earplugs with work and uh so uh I don't know how many times I've turned my head over there because I forget that the my mic I'm recording on is this one here. Usually I'm making a desktop video and I never turn my head, but when I got a camera over here and all this stuff. So anyway, this thing, if it would work, I really thought, you know, I wouldn't like it that much. Another thing is it would fall off, you know, if you're actually moving around. But those other kind that have stuff over your head or down, I don't know about the ones down here. They look interesting, but I kind of think the ones... I don't like the stuff on my head that much, you know. But if it's lightweight, you know, those small ones, that might be better. I'll have to look in. I've never seen those ones that hang something around your neck in person in real life, so I don't know. But uh, that evidently would probably... And those are the ones you, know, you usually just pick them up and plug them in your ears. Most of those are that way. I wouldn't want that. So probably something that maybe has a strap to keep it on your head and then... Uh, a lightweight thing to put in your ear, and of course the mic on on there. I guess that's what I'm going to do when I return these. But uh, I'm making this video to show what you really get here, uh, and especially since they didn't even send me what they advertised. But I just like to make videos on everything anyway. But um, and I'm also I. I once I started the video, I was like, okay, I haven't, I want to try this. I want to try that. See if, what if it works, you know? But, um, okay, so where am I on the screen? Okay, that's the beginning there. I don't know where, where I've got it. Let me go back to the very beginning. Okay, now. Um, these other ones are, ed you know, video editing stuff. Let's see. I haven't tried. I used the Hangouts dialer. The only other thing I haven't tried again is, um, well, I can't, it won't do it. I can't call myself, can't call my own number. I thought maybe I could call it and leave a voicemail. And that's just coming up with my recent calls. Okay, um, let's see. So which one am I on? Can't call. Yeah, and I tried calling. That one's the only person I've called it since I've had Google Voice. And uh, But if they don't, not there to pick it up, it does just just says can't get to them. I thought you could leave them a message, you know. Maybe it's the way theirs is set up. Maybe they don't have it set up to leave a message on it. I didn't think about that. So, um, let's see. And I don't want to just, you know, I mean, I wouldn't want to just call friends, you know, family or whatever, just uh, and bug them, you know, for just silliness like this. So, um, yeah, I'm not a phone person. Some people, they're on the phone more than they're off, you know, but I'm not like that at all. I'm on the computer more than anything else. And lately, I've been making videos all the time and being on the computer. been making videos about being on the computer. So, yeah, I'm a nerd. <sighs> okay. Um, a geek or a... Uh, I'm a techie. I prefer techie. Tech head. Techie sounds weird. <laughs> I'm a tech head. I used to be a motorhead, but I got tired of working on cars. That's a lot of nasty, dirty work. Hang on, I gotta have a drink. Okay. Um, by the way, SSH Droid is a very good app for uh, if you need to fi transfer files and stuff. You start it up and go go straight to it from your uh, local network. Um. So I don't see any other way to um, test it that I've got in here that I haven't already done. I guess I'll go. Let me look just a little voice search. I tried that. I didn't try it with the phone. Did I try it with the phone really far away? Yeah, I did. That I, I went sure and got the phone far enough away that it wasn't accidentally really picking up from the phone itself. At least I don't think so. That's what else is in here. See, it looks like you're you're to the end, but then there's some more, and they're, they're just kind of mixed here and there. <coughs> and I believe that's it. 
We've got a few more apps on. Yeah, this is. I have three phones. This is phone two. A few more apps on the other phone, but uh, there's not. I don't believe there's anything else that would be of any use. I guess I should look at it and see, but I wouldn't be able to show it unless I. Uh, well, I could set it up where I could show it, but uh, I don't have the headset. I had. To, I went ahead and unpaired the headset from it so that I could. Can only pair with one device at a time. So, and then if they're both running, then uh, you're only going to get one or the other of them. So I unpaired it so I wouldn't have trouble. Whoops. I was, I accidentally opened up something. I was just trying to slide it, and now I think, I don't know what, oh, I opened up VLC that time. Yeah, so I don't know how you, uh, maybe you can watch your video from that Insta Lively app. I'm going to go to YouTube first, though. Let's see. Flip it up here. Flip it up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, that was stupid. Okay. Um, flip it up. My videos. There it is. Don Bishop's broadcast. I thought I already... Oh, I didn't rename it yet. Okay. Okay, now it's playing. Well, so far. I don't have the headset. It's over here on the desk. But it is playing. There we go. Think. Yeah, it's up all the way. But that, listen to that. When you get to the top of the volume, it'll blow your head off, that little beep. Now, the video froze, but it's still talking, right? It didn't freeze on the phone. It froze in my team viewer. So, uh. I'm trying to listen while you, well, one ear and let the mic hear on the other. It cut. It was cutting out. It was. Uh, I believe it sounded like it was cutting out. So, um, but what I didn't get to tell was, what's that? Let me go back to regular, regular YouTube instead of trying to listen to it on the headset. I mean, it was probably cut. He recorded cutting out, I believe. Um, let me go back to regular YouTube. Maybe it just wasn't finished completely processed by YouTube. But well, I tried other videos that are finished and they didn't work. So that doesn't make sense. Because my phone is going through Wi Fi, it's going through the same connection, internet connection, as, the, uh, as my computers. So it really made no sense that it wasn't working at all or to me at all okay my channel let me kind of look here yeah see everything looks normal only th uh, firefox is using about what it would at this point getting on youtube and uh, record my desktop is normal okay now there's that last video See if it plays this time. Still doesn't look like it wants to play. I like the yeah, it's not working. The related videos, uh, I like the. I use that a lot. You know, I watch them on and on. But how about that? All the, all those at least for me. Well, then it's somebody else, and then it's me again. I got so many videos I want to upload, but. They all need some sort of processing. I need to edit every one of them, but I'd be lucky just to get like, see my um, my desktop recordings are OGVs. YouTube doesn't take OGVs. So I have to convert every one of them. Well, I've got a hundred and seventy or so that need to be converted. They haven't got converted yet. Like I said, I'm gonna get off of there to stop using up too much resources. Now, why it played? Maybe it played on my phone because it's actually on the phone. I know there's a version of it on here somewhere. That's what I was going to say. Why don't I look again? Let me go back. I'm on the wrong spot. Why don't I look again? I hate that. Why don't you stay big like I left you? 
Um, look again at that app. Camera follow. Up. Wait a minute. Insta Lively. That's the one I put on my front page of my because I liked it the best, but it actually doesn't work the best. But I think that video is going to be all choppy in the audio. I don't think you can stream the 720p on the phone. Uh, the uh, the Wi-Fi card in the phone is just not fast enough. The most it'll get is 72 megabits down. A new version of the software. Yeah, well, I still don't want to do it right now. Might help, but... Uh, yeah, this is one of the ones where you got to get by these games. If you click on Do Not Show Again, well, of course, they're going to say, well, then pay for it. Well, I don't want to pay for it. It's not that good. Actually, I don't even want to use it, really, most of the time. Okay. Um, so, what am I looking at? Okay, that's what the phone can see. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to play them from in here. I think you just play them on YouTube. So why does it play on YouTube? <clears throat> Let me put the headset on again so that I can hear it. Since the headset's on and turned on, that's the only way I can hear what the phone's playing. Actually, it does make me be able to hear. You know, I have to sometimes stick the phone right up to my ear to hear my own little videos I've made. Well, that went to YouTube. Oh, that, is that where I was wanting to go? Yeah, it was. I have to, uh, okay, I gotta get turned up. Oh, now those beeps hurt my ears. Uh, so, but yeah, to hear myself when they were recorded off the phone mic, I have to uh, turn the phone up all the way. And, and I, sometimes, a lot of times, I have to, especially if I'm not close to the phone when I made the recording, I have to uh, stick it up to my ear to even hear if there's any audio. And, but with this, I can at least hear, you know, but. That wasn't the. Well, you can't hear that, but I, I couldn't hear it last time. So yeah, it's gl it's glitching. It's you know. So that, uh, you can't leave that on 720p. That's why I had to put it like that. I'm trying to get back in the app again so I can, not yet, I'm busy. Want me to upgrade, oh yes, want me to buy it, oh no. I can't touch it, but I can click it, okay. Now, where's that darn setting? What do you have to do to get in there? I guess you have to... Uh, you can't get it to uh, do anything on the mic part. Maybe the maybe the free version won't do that. Okay, there's the... Uh, there you go. But it doesn't change it. It just tells you what it is. Okay, I guess I have to hit like I wanted to record, but I don't actually want to do that. Maybe I'll go ahead and make one just to get it out of that mode. Where's those settings? I remember there was settings. What's that to give it an... Oh, that's to change the name. I don't want to change the name. And it's ticking in my ear loud because I had to turn it up so I could hear. It says on the phone, notice there is no chat history. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care. That's not what I wanted anyway. I'm trying to get back to where I can do something. and Oh, now you see it. That's what I was looking at. Okay, so I don't care about all that. That's not what I want. I want the settings. How did I get in there? Okay, I don't care. I'll do it next time. Get out of there. I don't know why. I want, I'm using the mouse for some reason today only. I keep getting myself back in the weather. Because I'm clicking way down here, but you see, to get to the weather, you click up there. So how come that's happening? 
Okay, so that's uh, other. Okay, one other thing. I was talking about VLC. I don't think the phone version of VLC has any of that. Yeah, there's where you can refresh, and you can change the equalizer in there. I'm gonna turn that volume down and quit ticking in my ears. Yeah, that's the bad thing about headphones. You can't get ever get anything set right to where it pleases you the whole time. So, um, yeah, okay, audio, directories, local network, stream, okay. But I don't think you can make a stream. I think you can only watch a stream in here. Oh, wait, wait. he brought up another screen. What does it say? Enter the network address. Yeah, so that's to watch a stream. Let's see. No, that just took me back. Yeah, so if you knew the exact address of a stream, and that's hard because it's like, I wish that would show up like you could see it. Uh, it says, uh, I have to get my magnifying glass. It's so small. HTTP, HTTP and then MMS or RSTP or TSP. Those different kinds of stream addresses, and I'll tell you what, when you say I've got them set up and running, and then I can't figure out how to get to it on my other computer, you know, because it's all these weird exact you have to have the exact not just the H, you know, HTTP that's not hard, RTSP, but the exact um, if you didn't pay attention when you started your stream, you, you need the file name, is what I'm trying to say. So if you're streaming files you already have, they're all, every file's different, you know. And I figured out finally one time you can do on-demand streaming where you can just say serve everything in this directory. And I, I had that up set up once and then I turned it off because I didn't want to leave it on all the time. I even had it set up where people on the internet could watch it because I wanted my uh, neighbor to be able to see some videos that he was in and stuff. And uh, But, you know, I didn't want it going forever. I shut it down and he never ended up seeing them. So he didn't get on there to see him in time. <coughs> then after that, I couldn't remember how to do it. So, um, I don't know. This, uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, I had to cough again. I definitely spent enough time with this today to know that uh, uh, this headset to know that it hurts my ears and if, if I get it I mean I can I don't know maybe I'm dropping it down too low and it's riding on my ear that could have been it one time up a click and one time down a click feels better but it does hurt my left ear right ear is fine and maybe because it just keeps slipping on me, I get it where it ought to be, and then it slips. I do that. These kind of headsets that you adjust like that are bad about that, you know. And it moves really easy, so that might be it. I have another plastic set that had a boom mic on it. I remember I got them really cheap, and they actually had a pretty decent sound, I mean, for the, um, the mic the recording. They were just analog plug-in, you know. Uh... But the earpieces were small, and they and they would not stop. They were so tight. I don't care. I mean, I left them on something for a month one time to try to stretch them out. And actually, one day I was trying to put them on something to stretch them out, and I broke it. It 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 was made a little differently. It was actually turned out there was a little plastic tab that was glued up into. It was actually a metal band, and it was glued up into that. Well, no, it wasn't. It was plastic. But there's some metal on it. I think on the top or something. I think that was what was making it too tight, a uh, metal band. But anyway, it broke it out of there, and uh, I haven't. I thought about trying to fix them, but uh, they did record pretty good. Like on my, they actually did better recording into my laptop than well, when I used to use my cassette deck. There was noise in in the line, and it would, my laptop would pick it up. I haven't even tried my V amp in the laptop yet. I need to do that sometime. But uh, so. I already know they're going back because they, they won't even do what I, you know, the number one thing I want is to uh, record with them, you know, not listen with them. Uh, but now that I've been with them all day today, uh, I wouldn't even want them for listening. Even, they do have a good sound. Um, I didn't play any 
You know, I haven't even listened to any music on them. Let's see. Um, okay, let me put them on my head. And uh, let's see, what can I do to get some music? That's probably too far up. I'm trying to find the right place. Ow, that hurts my ears. The sound, I mean, hurts my ears. Okay, now that might be just a little more comfortable. So here's what I'll do. Let me go over here to the phone. I don't know if that's better or worse. My my ear, left ear just keeps getting it's getting pressed on. I think is what it is. Um. So let's see. I don't have music on my phone, you know. Let me see. I guess the only way I can really get music, let me think. Uh, oh, I know. Here we go. Okay, we'll do a voice search. Don't. Oh, I missed it. It didn't come up on the big screen, so I missed it. Okay, try again. I'll look at the little screen. Well, it said listening for one second. Is it because I'm talking? It's going away. Okay, let's start again. Maybe there's no mic. Let me lay it, lay this down over here so that I'll see if it's working. Maybe it's confused because that's going off. Something's wrong or something. Hmm. That's, you know, it crashed a few times earlier. Okay, let me just go into Chrome. Actually, I think you can get to the voice search from in there. It'll probably crash again. Oh, I've got the keyboard hooked up. I can type in there. That'll be fine. I don't mind that. <clears throat> Let's see. I like it better when it's the other way. There you go. Stay like that. AccuWeather. I guess I must have made that my home page or something. That's a long address. Okay, not too bad. Here we go. Yeah, if I, as long as I can type, I'm fine. There, that's my website. I actually uh, like to write songs, and I've recorded a couple of albums. So I have my music on my website there. Let's see if I can stream that. That way nobody can say I'm copywriting, getting in their, in their copyright, because this is my copyright. I had a video when I was working on my truck, and I turned on the radio for about 30 minutes, and they, you know, I got in all kinds of... Uh, they they talk, knocked out the audio in it. YouTube did. Let's see. I think I already it roll when you roll the mouse wheel it goes too far. I keep looking over at the uh, webcam because I think you you know used to when you're making a camera video you should look at the camera once in a while right well but the thing is that's not what I'm showing right now. <laughs> uh, you try to learn. I, I'm actually kind of bad about not looking at the camera as I should when I'm try making a camera video. And so I'm trying to remember to do better. Okay, there's the songs. You got to go one click, one roll of the mouse is like way too much. It'd be easier to do it with the. Uh... Yeah, I'll just do that one. I think it'll play. Well, uh, see if it'll open up with VLC just out of curiosity. I used to be able to do that on the computer. It didn't do it. Oh. So that's all right. I think it's starting to rain. Try another one. For some reason it zoomed in. I need to turn it down though. Yeah, when I put them, they're too loud like that. But when I put them down on the mic... I can't even hear it. Yeah, it's raining. It's thundering. 
You see, I know what this is supposed to sound like. Yeah, that's all right. I was trying to click on a different link. That's kind of cool because it plays it in VLC without getting away from your website. Turn in the headset. I know a direct hit to the mic's best. It could be too loud there. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I already had it turned down pretty low, too. I think the headset's turned up all the way. I don't know what's better, side by side or um, directly at it. You get get stereo that way at least. Okay, let me get. I don't think getting out of the website will stop it. I got to get to VLC. Yeah, how do you stop it? I guess if I go into VLC, will it have a show me what I'm watching or what? No, it's not coming up. Well, it's in the last screen I was in when I was in VLC. Oh, how strange. Oh, no, that's not the last screen I was in. That's actually using that streaming portion. It says the name of my song in there. And at the bottom. Oh, and there's a pause button. Oh, that's actually a relief. That was too loud even after I turned it down. Oh, cool beans. I didn't know you could do that. So if you're on a website on your Android and you have VLC, and for some reason it's not. Uh, I was in Chrome there. If you're on a website, I've never done that before. So if you're in a website and you and you click on a streaming link, then uh, it can play it <coughs> in your uh, VLC. And it keeps playing even when you get out of the... That's the cool thing about it. It keeps playing even when you get out of the uh, website. Because I think... Let's go back. I'll just do it the what the nor, kind of normal way. It's not... I've got the phone laying down, but it's not going wide. It's not going nationwide. Okay. Um, and it's also not refreshing again. I don't know why it got so big. It, it did that. I don't. I was just clicking on links and it got big. Let me see if I can pinch down. There we go. I mean, that was too big to fit on the screen. I think that's back down to normal. There we go. Now if I can find the uh, links. There's a lot of weirdness uh, that goes on with uh, when you're using a mouse on a phone. So, <clears throat> and it's not, the screen's not responding well. So let me see. I'll find. I'll look at the phone and find the, where the links are, and then stop there. Whoa! Hold on. There. There's my links. Now, if you'll just refresh, Mr. Screen. I'll just try to make it refresh. Whoops. Where's that view? It's so hard to get to that. The team, uh, my phone explorer that I like to use, because uh, you can plug it into a USB cable, but it's only a Windows app. You hear that thunder? It, um, yeah, thunder and lightning. It might, I might have all everything. I might get the power knocked out, and I might have all this go to screeching halt. So maybe I better get out of here and stop this video before I get it ruined. Uh, yeah, I will. I was gonna try to play another song, but it's you know the refresh is not working anyway. So, and I'm sure this video is very long. So. Uh, Oh my gosh, I think it's the longest video I've made. And that must be two hours long. 400 megabytes is about an hour. Oh, I didn't know I was doing that. Holy crap. Okay, so uh, I won't go on and on anymore. I'm it's Thundering and lightning and any little flash could knock me out. So uh, it's dawn and that's enough of all that. But it does. I have not found a way to make this thing, uh, the mic, pick up into any apps in my phone. So I'm uh, going to have to send it back. Doesn't do what I need it to do. All right. Bye-bye.